And we're back and I'm so excited about the theme for this month because I get to celebrate some of the most amazing female chefs and cooks and bloggers and bloggers or people who I usually just binge watch basically whenever I'm trying to figure out what to cook and whenever I think I know what I'm doing I just check to see what they've done with theirs. And I could not possibly start without one of the person's food I've consumed the most in the years she has been cooking and that's going to be Miss Mandy. You know her as a throwdown queen and we'll be sure to rock up some of her merch later because you know this is the overdressed cook. I've forgotten the name of my own show. I am the overdressed cook. That is the name of my show. <laughs> and my name is Anita Nderu. And on this episode, we shall be featuring a woman who went down a very healthy route and wrote a book about it. And I, we're going to tell you where you're going to get it. The link will be down below. And she'll be launching another one that she will be telling us about because she's going to get to be on the show. And her name is Miss Mandy. <sighs> let, me, let, me, let me just gather some saliva in the mouth. Without, <laughs> without further ado, Miss Mandy, welcome to the overdressed cook. We're wearing the same color. That's like the best part. The shorter version with the wiggy. The serious version with the wiggy. We're still we're both short. I don't know what you're trying to. I, I don't even know where you go. You cannot even remotely imply that we have any. Like, a height difference is not even that, is it? That no. I was talking about the hair. Oh. And today we're going to be making one of our favorite things, which is chicken wings. We have chicken wings here, and I see we've already marinated them with uh, ginger paste, black pepper, salt. Anything else? Um, there's garlic in there, mm -hmm. there's lemon as well, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And because I, you've, you've gone down this incredible healthy route, and for that reason, we're going to actually be baking the chicken and not frying the chicken. Yeah, and also, um, chicken wings have really good, like, they have their own fat, the skin is fat. Mm -hmm. So even if you ate five with just like a little bit of fries, you've hit your food goals. So what we're going to add to these wings is a little bit of paprika, just to give it color and much more of flavor as well. I had hosted a couple of friends. Actually, no, we had gone out, they came over, and we all blacked out. We woke up the next morning, and, <laughs> and they were like, hey, do you feel like uh, you wanna cook for us something? So yeah. I cooked something, I took a picture, added the hashtag online, yeah. and that was it. Like, it wasn't planned, it wasn't premeditated. I didn't have a strategy team, yeah. nothing. We're gonna take out our grill rack out of the oven, and then we're gonna lay the wings on top of it. How do you wanna lay them, Mandy? What position would you like the wings to be facing? I don't know what Anita has been on ever since I got here, but I am gonna take that juice with me once I live here. So, so anyway, so we're gonna we, take this foil. I mean, take this uh, baking tray. We're gonna foil it. You really don't want the wings to cook in their own moisture. Because okay. when they do, they end up like being soggy instead right. of crispy. Don't you want them to be crispy? So this is gonna be at the bottom and then there's gonna be a grill at the top. Yes. Okay. So I just lay them anyhow. Yes. Yes. All right. Ooh. Skin up. Yeah. What kind of chicken had a drumette, well, rather than a wing this size? This chicken used to go to the gym with Shiv. I mean, the hell? <laughs> so now that the wings are cooking, they're gonna take about 30 minutes. Maybe we should have timed ourselves. Oh. Boom! Yes, to make our sauce, all we need for the base first is onion. So we just need to finely chop. All right, so. A great cooking hack that you may not know, uh -huh. when you're cutting onions, don't cut off the base. This when you cut off the base, it increases how much you cry. So when you keep it there, it kind of like slows down the crying process. Yeah, I knew that already. I just, I mean, I just did you? I just wanted to be able to cry and, oh. and just blame it on something else. No, I did not know that. I just found out. Thank you very much. <laughs> you should be the overdressed, overdramatic cook. <laughs> We're keeping it healthy. Olive oil. The only way to keep your heart in check. As the onions yes. go in next, and then. So we're just gonna cook the onions until they're soft and then we start building on that with some salt Until and some the onions are sweaty. I, I did not know what I signed up for, but <laughs> I'm glad I'm here though. <laughs> Good. Add in some paprika, about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. As you can smell it, now we're gonna go in with the ketchup. Um, how much sauce do I go in with? How saucy do we want the wings? Super saucy. If you're looking for like a very smoky uh, taste in your barbecue sauce, this is a very great aid for that if you don't have like liquid smoke. Okay. Can I tell you something? I actually, that's what I was about to say. I discovered liquid smoke. So it's about, um, so the, um, the person who creates it in, um, that I met is trying to get um, Kev's approval at the moment. But it's, it's so potent and it's black and it's actually liquid smoke. It's incredible and it tastes amazing with steak. Okay, so I've added about two, one and a half tablespoons of Rosh sauce into there. And then we're gonna add in 
the oh. apple cider. The apple cider adds in the tanginess. Like, you know that kick yes. you can feel? All right. Anita is uh, working with the flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. Oh my, first of all, I feel like there just, there was just, it smells so good, you guys, it smells so good. We want to learn a recipe from her new cookbook. And because it's super clean, super healthy, and it basically teaches you mm -hmm. how you can, you know, sort of push and out your meals, um, eat good food that tastes great, but still eat clean. We shall be learning about how to make what, Randy? Let's make sweet potatoes. Why not? Sorry, sweet potatoes first? Yes. Okay. It's easy. We're just going to boil okay. them and pan fry them in some coconut oil. And that's that? Yeah. The reason why I look so troubled is because maybe need to a waru, potatoes. When I saw the interesting twist with how you can do it with coconut oil, I've never tried it. It's going to be my first time to try it. So let's do this. That's the weird thing. Even when it comes to potatoes, there can be like 400 potatoes. I prefer to actually peel them with a knife because I'm just faster at it and better at it than doing the thing. A quick hack is that you want to pour out the water that it's in right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Because right now it's really starch. Starch, yeah. Right? So you want to put it in fresh water before you start boiling. It has that, um, you know, that uh, matoke feel. Let me tell you, when it comes to picking anything that's long and round, or, you know, cylindrical for that matter. When was the last time you got some? Like, I, I have to ask, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> what? Things are on track. Okay, salt, pepper, or just boil just like that? We'll just boil them first. So let me just taste. Are we good? It's well cooked, it just needs salt. So we're gonna take the sauce and more or less pour this into here. Mokotiara, like it'll kotiara them. Mandy, you cannot be wasting utensils in the. Who do you think washes my dishes in my kitchen? Coconut oil goes in. Okay. Just we're just gonna let it cook. So that's until it. it browns. Yeah, until it browns. So, so you want to start Can plating. we learn plating now? Yes. Okay. So the trick here is you want to place them gently. Garnish? Yes. So parsley, coriander, guys. Apparently, I don't know how to eat chicken wings very well. Oh, I don't. said that? Yeah, they said I don't Sorry. eat everything, like down to the bone. Like, I, I, can, I, don't, I don't eat this part that much. Yeah. Okay. And then... Because I like food that tastes like <laughs> poke them first, oh. so that they, or even cut them in half completely, okay. so that we expose the membrane and the chilies. There you go. This is a warning to whoever does sewage in Kilele. <laughs> it's going to be busy tomorrow. Okay. So it's browning. It's getting all brown and crunchy. Our potatoes are ready. That's actually pretty nice. I like it. Do they need more salt? You can taste so much of the coconut to the point where it takes away from the fact that you're just eating washi. This is why I'm here. This is what has come out of a very healthy recipe day with Miss Mandy. And it's a wrap! Not for the food per se. <laughs> We're just getting started. Yeah. But then thank you so much, Mandy, for coming through. So if you have not grabbed her first book, Feel Your Body Goals, you better grab it. The link is going to be down below. And the merch that comes along with it, super cute as well. Will there be new merch with the new book? Yes. And be sure to follow her, Miss Mandy Throwdown, at Miss Mandy, and at Miss Mandy on YouTube. Have I forgotten any channel? No. <sighs> the first healthy thing I've had in a while. I feel snatched, guys. Like, there's something about just eating healthy. Like, I just feel like everything went inside, you know? But the oil is coming out. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on <laughs> for coming on the show today. I totally appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And yeah, hashtag overdressed cook is where you will find all the other four women I'll be paying homage to this month. <laughs> <laughs>